Hello guys, welcome back to another video today. Um, obviously it is uh, FA Cup week for a lot of the teams and um, for the leagues for most teams anyway. I think there's like over 24 um, ties to be played over the weekend. Obviously I ain't got to do all 24. But I'm going to do 9, so there's quite a few there. Uh, before I get down to my predictions, I just want to mention this VAR. Um, which, for you, you people that don't know what it is, it's video refereeing. It's where referees can go back on decisions and we look at things. Um, to be honest, I think it's a good idea that it is coming into the game. Now I know people. I know people saying it can take two minutes, but two minutes is saving time. Yes, you can save time if we didn't use it. But then, in future terms, it could be it could be a decision that could get your team three points or get your team a point. Uh, the game it is going to be used in is Brighton versus Crystal Palace at the Emirates, which is my local team, uh, Brighton. Um, so. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that. Guys, whatever you think, put it down in the comments below. Do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Because uh, I'm interested to know. I like to see mixed, mixed opinions and what's your thoughts on it. But without any further ado, I'm going to get into these cup ties. So the first game I'm going to talk to you about is... Birmingham versus Burton Albion. Um, now, Birmingham just came... I won. I saw a bit of a running run really. They just beat Reading 2 now. Um, as far as I know, Burton Albion ain't doing that bad in the Championship. Um, I think over the 90 minutes, I do think it's just going to be that one goal. But I, well, what happened over the weekend? I'm going to go for a Birmingham home win. Obviously no draws in this cup. It could go into a replay. So, but for that game I'll go Birmingham home win. The second game that my dad drew, drawn out. I've done it at random so, you know, you, you, you had a chance of me talking about your team this week. But, obviously I've still got a few to go through. So... Right, so the second one we're going to talk about, as I said, is Man United versus Derby. Now, I'm going to throw a shock in there. I think Derby might have this one. Uh, Man United are trying to keep up Man City. I don't think United are going to play a lot of their first team. I think Derby, even though they're pushing for promotion to the Prem, I do think Derby are going to go in there with a bit of confidence, playing with no pressure. Obviously, when being the underdogs, so I'm gonna go with a derby away win on that one. The next one I'm gonna to talk to about is West Brom versus Exeter. Now, West Brom are on a dip on form. Uh, they just currently lost to West Ham 2-1 at the London Stadium. So, for this one, I'm gonna go for another shock and go exit to win um, purely because the run that West Brom on and I think they I think they've lost their last five uh, might have one draw in there but for the level of performance by West Brom at the minute I'm going in exit to away win now my other, my next one is Aston Villa Peterborough. Um, now this one, it's, I think it's gonna be a tough one. Um, obviously, you'll be able to tell by my thumbnail. Well, I call it a cup of dreams. It does give non-league teams a chance to play at Wembley, even though it's a very light chance. But they do have their chance to play at Wembley. But back to this, um, I'm going to go, 
I'm actually gonna say going into a replay. So overall, I think it'd be a draw. So I go for a draw in that one, and it go into a replay. Um, but let's just see what happens. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is a big one in this cup. It's the Merseyside derby. It's Liverpool versus Everton um, at Anfield. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to go a Liverpool home win just to perform their one at the minute. Um, Excuse me. Um, I can't stop scoring as it is. Uh, I do think it's going to be tight. I'm going. I will. Go, as I said, I am going Liverpool home win. I'm not saying Everton can't win it. I'm just going to think it's. Uh, I think uh, Liverpool got to find it. Uh, Everton got to find it hard to. Uh, Stop Liverpool at the present form they're in. So that's why I'm going a Liverpool home win. The next one I'm going to is Bournemouth versus Wigan. Um, now Wigan's doing well in League One. Bournemouth has started to slightly pick up on form again. Uh, even though it might only be the odd game. But for this one, I'm going for another shock. I'll go an Everton away win, purely because Bournemouth are trying to stay in the Premier League. So I can't see Bournemouth playing their first team either. Um, so that's why I'll go Wigan away win. The next game I want to talk to you about is Fulham Southampton. Uh, yeah, again, another tough one. Um, Southampton, I do believe they're in the bottom Near, near the bottom three now after the week's uh, results in the league. Fulham uh, ain't doing that bad as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so for that one, I'm going to go Fulham. Uh, I'll go Fulham home win just because of the perform that Southampton are going for at the minute. Uh, so the next one is Fleetwood versus Leicester. Um, I'm tempted to say Fleetwood home win, but I'm not. I'm going to go Leicester away win. And then my last one is the North East Derby. It's Sunderland, uh, Middlesbrough versus Sunderland at the Riverside Stadium. Now. I know some of them ain't doing that great in the championship. I know Middlesbrough are below uh, performance as uh, they've just been relegated for both of them been relegated from the Premier League previous season. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna say it's gonna go into another replay. Alright guys, anyway that brings this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do if you need to my channel, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and ciao for now.